Hey, and welcome back to Vid Society. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a new tool that just launched, and you can pick it up today for just $17 called AI Pow. Now, I'm inside the dashboard right now. I'm going to take you through, show you a little bit about what this product is and how it works. And as always, I'll put links below this video that will take you to the official website and also my review page on my Vid Society website if you want to get more details and even learn about some of the upsells. All right, so here we are inside of the dashboard. Now with this, depending on which upsell you get, you may be limited to some of the options. Now, what I wanna show you here is let me jump down to my account and go to my plan. You're gonna see the plan I am on is the unlimited plan. So I did upgrade and this gives me pretty much unlimited everything, but there are options to get more templates. Now, let me jump over here to templates where you can see how this works. So when you use chat GPT, there are specific ways of structuring your prompts to get better content, better quality. And so this tool helps you to do that. So when you come into templates, you can see I have currently 14 here for text. And you can see here different options that I can choose to create different types of content, as well as for websites, for social media, and some other ones down here, including a custom prompt. So let's just jump up here and go to one of these. And let's say that I want to create a blog article. So the first thing I want to do is give it a name. I'll just name it AI pal under type here. We can click this drop down and we have all these different options under text where we can summarize, explain like I'm five years old, keyword generator, grammar fixer. And obviously we want to keep this on blog article. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and fill in the rest of this content. So we're just going to leave it like this. My title is going to be how to use chat GPT to create amazing content. My keywords are going to be chat GPT, AI pow and create content. And you can also break up your content into different sections. So let me add a few here and I'm just going to put two things in here. Generic best ways to use chat GPT for content and using AI pow for content. Now under advanced settings, you have more options here for creativity level. If you don't want any, or if you want a lot of creativity, down here, you have different variants, maximum words per variant. I'm just going to leave mine at 500, but it says here you can just leave it empty for optimal responses too, but we'll just leave it at 500. And then under projects, you want to make sure that you come over here under projects and create your projects first, because if you don't, when you come in here, they're not going to be listed under this drop down. Even if you come over here and click on create project, it's still not going to show up under this drop down unless you refresh this page. So for now, I'm just going to leave this as none and we're going to click on create. And after about a minute, we have all of our content here that it's created for us. So first we have variant one. It gives us this intro about what we gave it the title for. We have one of our uh, sections here where it breaks it down and adds content. Another section here, it breaks it down, adds more content. And then variant number two is here. And this is the way it works with all of those options that you found under your templates is it just creates this really good content, formats it. And then if you want, you can go ahead and edit this content. You can see you have different options up here to use. Or for me personally, what I like to do is just go ahead and just copy the content and then put it into my WordPress blog and just edit it from within there. That way I know everything works perfect in the way it's supposed to. Now you have a couple more options up here where you can duplicate it and you can also edit it or delete it. But the other thing I want to show you too, is there's two other options over here. And once again, this is going to depend on some of the upsells you get, but you have the option for creating AI images. So you can come over here and click on generate AI images and you can fill out this content. So I went ahead and filled this out and I just named it Bitcoin and an and for the description, I put an apocalyptic background, Bitcoin in the middle with people standing, looking and all. Uh, let me do this, put an apocalyptic background with city. And then here you can choose an art style. You can also choose an artist, the lighting style and the mood. You can choose your image size, the advanced settings down here, how many variants you want. We're going to go ahead and do three and let's go ahead and create it. And you can see here based on the options that we selected here, you have your apocalyptic background, the city, the Bitcoin, the people looking up at it. It's pretty crazy how it can create these images based off of these settings. Now you can see here that I chose Leonardo da Vinci as the artist, which is one reason we have this type of style here. But every time you choose a different artist, it's going to result in a different type of a picture. So you also have your AI speech to text, and I'm not going to go into detail about this. It's pretty simple where you generate an AI transcription and all you have to do is give it a name and choose your file. And then when you do that, it's going to upload it 
And then you can give it a description here and create it. And it's going to take that speech and convert it to text for you. So overall, this is an amazing tool that you can use. Come back to your dashboard. You have everything here for it uh, that you can see what you've done, what you've generated, and you can just come back and access everything directly from here and organize it into projects. Great little tool to pick up for, like I said, first week, I believe it's only $17 on the front end. The other OTOs and upsells can really enhance this to give you more access to more templates and tools uh, to be able to do more things. You can find all those on my website in the link below this video. Uh, but that's it for this video, guys. If you like these types of videos, be sure to subscribe, uh, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. That's it. Have a great day.